Pence? Incense? In... 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 in impress? Yeah, intersect? In... 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 in intro, introvert? <laughs> introvert? So broken. You know, earlier, actually, not even earlier, I have a cup right here. I have a cup uh, next to me, like the what, like like the, the cup that I use to, to hold water in. <laughs> yeah, for for stream, right? Thank you, Michaelina Strikes for the member. This will not. No, I'm say so. I'm 100% say so. Anyways, my cup. I have like I ha I have I, I bought uh I bought uh uh Capri Capri Sun Capri Sun Wait where's my BGM? You are a liar Nice try But um I had Capri Sun but since I have a wound in my mouth I can't I I can't Use a straw. Right? So... I had to cut open my Capricorn with... It was it was called a fairy drink. So I had to cut open it. And... And pour it in a cup. <laughs> I'm sorry! I couldn't drink the Capricorn the proper way! Why am I saying it like that? Why am I saying it like what? Capricorn? Capri Sun? I don't have a sippy cup. I want a sippy cup though. I want like the milk bottle for babies. Cap Capri Sun? Capri Sun? No, it's just in a regular cup. Capri Sun? Capri Sun? Why is it called Capri Sun? Ow. Okay, I still can't. I still, I, I still can't open my mouth to. Why is it Capri? Sounds horrible. Capricorn? Is that how you say Capricorn? Huh? It's Capricorn, so I said Capricorn. ESL? No, English is just a stupid language. Obviously, Alava is better. Anyways, today we're gonna we're gonna play the coffin of Andy and Laylee. Um, is the game gonna be? You know what? Let's just go into the game screen. I guess. Ooh. Okay, how about this? How is this? I'm not racist for saying English sucks. It just sucks, all right? I'm sorry, your language sucks. My bad. Okay. Wait, they're, they're not safe for work roots? Okay, anyways, how long is this game? How many streams do I have to split this into? Jelly ESL? Shut up! At least I'm AFL. A wah wah first language. How many streams do I have to put this in again? Two to three? One to two? Five to six hours? What? That's kind of long. Two streams? Okay. Are there... Is this game split into like... Okay. Is this split into like chapters like Saya? No, I don't want to aim for all the endings. I only play one ending. In all... In all... All... All of the... the uh, visual novels I play. Because I want to encourage you to play the rest. Who? Okay. Two chapters. Okay. Let's split into two then. Furan, you keep doing this every single freaking stream. You come here and say, Jelly! Insert kind quote. And then, can we see Alice? Go away! 
Shift, shift to run. Okay. Episode one, the coffin. Oh. What is this? Wait, there's no voice acting. There's no voice acting. So which one is the Andy between you and Alice? I don't know. I don't know. Lately, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and. What? Something, something, K. Something with you. So, and what? What ends with K? With you, I thought she's her friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Uh, as much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. It's titled Find Nutrients to Not Die. Is this me? Am I playing? Am I, am I playing as Ashley? Ready, set, go! Okay, what is it? Is this my house? Why is it so drab? Inside the cabinet is nothing! <laughs> okay, hi, welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome! Drunk and unpaid bills, it cannot be eaten. Oh, I need to find something to eat. Is this some dirt? Garbage! This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. <laughs> To your brother. Mother won't pick up how many times you call. Oh, my mom hates me. You've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. So, is that it? Oh my god, it's white noise! How thrilling! Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? Alright. The balcony door is locked. So I need to go find my brother to give him my can of tomatoes. Hello, Andy! You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Why not? <laughs> huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. <laughs> huh? How did you know it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you! Gasp. I live in a den of snakes! I can't 
do this. I can't do this. <laughs> okay, reading it out, narrating is different. It's, it's something different. But to voice act two people is different too. And I don't want really <laughs> I don't want to use different voices for them. It makes me... Ah! Ah, oh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? My immersion is gone. My immersion is gone. No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth. I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine. Let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. I'll be there in a bit. Do I have... Good day! Are you still alive in there? Hello! If you will make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. You don't bring it to the living either! Huh, I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye! No, wait! Wait, wait! Come back! He doesn't. God damn it. What was that? What was that? Thank you, Magdalena's Rex, for the two super chat. If it's a good sign, Leon Pippa love this game. I want to be immersed too. I can't get immersed if I'm reading everything out. You boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right there. No salt though. I mean... I mean... Is this like post-apocalyptic or something? You've used all of it to spike your water in order to over to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. What? Is that a thing? Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss us. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Oh! Here, catch. Got balcony key. I have a balcony key. Unlock the balcony door. Hmm, can't really see squat from here. There? You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. No, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. The table! Get the table! An ashtray! No, not the ashtray! There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. Oh, uh, what do I have to... Empty. What do I? 
wait, that's a that's a room, right? This one, this is a room. Is there anything I can take? A mop. The trash bags. No ladder. But I have to get to the cross of the, to the of one object. I can't, I, why not? I'll just jump really far. Here? Remember when they still gave us food and stuff? Good times. I bet they don't do that anymore because they're scared to open the door now. They can still squeeze something in through the mail slot. Like what? Pasta? Like, like anything. Are they just gonna let us die here? At this point, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Like, this whole situation is gonna be a PR nightmare, I'm sure. I wonder if they'd rather we die than talk about it. Cheery. They should come in and shoot us when... Shoot us then or something. Get it over with. That wouldn't look very natural, I guess. I guess. Okay, what do I 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 what do Well, you're right. These goddamn DIY shelves, I swear. Well, now I can take that plank. How was I supposed to know that the plank was gonna fall? What? 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 The, what? The, what? The, what? Set down the wooden plank. Okay, let me go. Wait. Wrong. I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What? What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. Okay. I'll go watch some TV then. Uh, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Meh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah. Woe is you. It is! At this moment... At, at this moment... I don't... Feel anything yet... Towards my brother. Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to feel something? You take the batteries off the alarm clock. I got batteries! Maybe I'll feel something later. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang-up job. More. <laughs> oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? 
No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. I like this. They seem really sad. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for the gift. Thank you. For the one gift. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water have been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. I poisoned the water supply. Now everyone dead. Oops. And the quarantine period for those whom are at risk have been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers! I'm gonna bed. You decide to do the same. I'm dreaming! I'm dreaming! Thank you, Pinky, for the one month member! Man, Sigmund Fruit would have had a field day if he had lived today and seen the behemoth that is the internet and all the incest content available. I mean, uh, we haven't seen any incest content yet, so it doesn't count. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they sh I thought they said we should stay home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom. Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing! The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton! Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. <laughs> it hurts like a beep. Well, there we go. What are they doing to me? How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Stop calling me Ashley, please. What a what a woman! If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer up there, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. G goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. What kind of mom is that? After a menacing all night, you wake up. As one does. Oh, this is you and your brother's room. And the other one is your mom's room. Your mom and dad, I guess. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Okay. No! Picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams. Excuse me? Exactly where they belong. Excuse me? Picked up some laundry. Yawn. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. 
You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Ah, he's so nice! Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Well, we'll find out soon. That's the wrong room! Got detergent. Here? You run the laundry. Now, what else could you clean? I'll clean the toilet. It's not working. I'll clean this dirt. Uh, I'll, I'll get the mop. Got a mop. Wait. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt! What else is there to take care of? This trash pile. No? Well, what else can I do? Well, what else can I do? Sorry, pardon me! Never mind. Empty freezer. I'll oh, clean up some books. Clean up some books. Clean up some books. You returned all the books to the shelf. Mm. Am I gonna pass out? You're feeling dizzy. <coughs> no! Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. I'm died! Thank you for the member, George! I'll come back for months! Kelly, will you be my sister? Maybe I'll open brother applications like Rie. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been some supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story. A brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. Well, I guess they're gonna shoot anybody who comes near us. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift and tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other side of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk through. They talk though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or I mean, yes. But that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you can but you still can't make out the words. Always about you don't Lee and Ashley and I've had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, alright. I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... A faint beep 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 of a drop call can be heard. Uh... Sigh. 
was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? Uh, how should I know? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody. That's apparently perma-quarantine? Quarantine? Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Wait, I thought this game was about Andy and... I see. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Brother! Andrew! 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 You can't be in the toilet, can you? Where did he go? Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey! Me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please! I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. <coughs> Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd let their... As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then, what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. If I go into labor, will I get help? Think they get me? They think they bring me food if I got per? Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. If you'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, you're just too exhausted. Why am I in like the corner? Why am I in, like, the corner? Greg not! But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy! Great. I'm totally not. Oh my god! I'm a turtle! Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? What's he doing? Hey! He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. 
How many more times are you gonna try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? So Jelly, where on the scale are you from Leah to Shino or more specifically interested to discuss it towards the incestuous relationship in the game? I mean, I haven't seen any weird, like, weird things happen, so I don't know. But thank you for the super chat. I can't give you an answer right now. If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You don't bring me food anyway! Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door, or next will be me banging your head against the wall. Do you think they'll really get the delivery today? <laughs> like I didn't mess this up for us, did I? Okay, Bunny's kind of cute. I'm just saying. Unlikely. So I guess we'll see. And see you did. What? 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 You cannot blame me! And absolutely nothing was delivered. You cannot blame me! Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You think something would be happening to us by now? I mean, he's kind of. I mean, he's. I mean, he's kind of. I mean. Saying, but I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? I mean, she's kind of cute too. She's kind of cute too. They're both kind of. Hello, hello. Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. <laughs> let's not. So I appreciate your eagerness to join me. Okay, but... Alright, but... Alright, but... Okay, look, but... But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn to a pile of gory mush. Never to be separated. True? Kinda true. The seeds of darkness have been implanted in her mind. It was only a matter of time till they sprout. I I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's not impurity. It's 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 just a natural reaction. Our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance... Not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. That's my brother? No, he's not my brother. He's Ashley's brother. He's not my brother. I hope he lives. After the game. Again? I wish he'd just... I feel like he should...
check up on that. You've come! And you're, ah, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I, I love it! It's better than I imagined! That's all I meant! What do you offer, human? <laughs> oh, um, I, I don't have much to give right now. But, if you help me get out of here, I'll like it, get you anything you wish. Is... That... No good? Wait, what was his voice again? As you wish, you mom! Wait, ha <laughs> As you wish, you mom! My lord, thank you, thank you! Perish! Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Oh my god, he's dead! Wait, Goofy? I, I forgot what voice I did. So, uh, am I already delirious or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I'm going to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something that this guy has we can eat. Oh, hello, burglary time! Sh shut up and let's get in there. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Please! The boxes are full of useless junk. Oh, give me the blunt object. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, it's still illegal if we didn't kill the guy. Is what illegal? Well, you know. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, okay, look, wait, wait. Oh! What? This frame? This frame of him, like, biting his finger? My fairy drink. Oh, you want to eat him? I isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, oh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed this guy. It's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there is nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that, you're going to tell them a demon killed him? Really? That'll fly. Listen, 
You're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Something to butcher him with. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's cut the body up. Bang, bang, bang. So, you get the arms. I'll handle the legs. Don't worry for Andrew. I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do both. I'll do all the limbs. Right arm first. Boop. Left arm. We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No! Can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Do your best, Andy! I'll get some plastic bags! Don't worry, I'll get them. Plastic bags. Here? Here? Okay, guess not. Wait, where are the rest of the plastic bags? Are they in the are they in the cupboard? Okay, I got the plastic bags. Isu? A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap, I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold him over? I don't think that's gonna work. Watch and learn! Yeah, see? If anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! <laughs> Why is he laughing? Why is he laughing? Good God, no! Don't make me laugh at this! I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather up the limbs, gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Look, I don't think th I don't think this is a very accurate representation of what people are like when they cut up a body, even if you're starving. I mean, if you're starving, I would be eating them raw, don't you think? Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Give me all your legs and your arms. Ew! You'll deal with this, are you sure, Andrew? Okay. You're so dependable. I'm knowledgeable. No, I'm not. I'm just making an assumption. You place the severed limbs in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Um... Do we want leaner meat? Or do we want... More fatty meat? Also, do we know much about this person? Does he walk a lot? Okay, maybe he doesn't walk a lot. So there's probably not a bunch of muscle in the leg. I was gonna say left arm because if he's right-handed, his right hand will have more muscle. And the ones with more muscle will be a bit tougher to eat. Right? The legs will taste better, right? So maybe the left leg. 
Maybe the left leg. Yeah, the left thigh would be really good, right? Yeah, leg is where the ham is. We're eating ham tonight. What about leg, I guess? You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. <laughs> right. So, what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up! New first. <laughs> munch, munch. Huh? What? Oh, you already... Okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Okay, like when he... Okay, you know what? I'm done. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. Oh no, is he okay? I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't! Swallow. All of it. Well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love! So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman! <laughs> quit, quit your gagging, you big baby! I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy. I'm so proud. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> what an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. You've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know, maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Good night! You fall asleep. Fully content with your life decisions. She's just like me for real. If I'm starving, what do you expect me to do? Not eat a person? Oh! Said she likes you? Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you gonna be her boyfriend? Gross, no. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother! Mine! I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman! Oh yeah, you're a girl too. Hey! Hey! That's mean! Who's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Sometimes you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person, for that matter. Screw you! I am the most personless lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously! Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? He's so shy. Focus, Andy! Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll sell her. Let's not. You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lately, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's her friend. Well, I thought so too. 
and she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. They won't suspect some children. It'll be fine. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray! You're the best! Today's episode is titled Annie and Lily <laughs> The What in the Box! <laughs> One day I'll be a What in the Box! And your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. What do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? Wait, was that a bad word? I can't say that. Oh, Baba? Was that a bad word? I'll take you out to play. And when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. What's taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? doing here? Surprise! I want to hang out too! Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you... Did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? <laughs> Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with a boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So? Are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. You get to get her in a box! Never let her out. Punishment for touching Andy. Um, what? Oh, wait. I'm supposed to move. Oh my god. <laughs> I got hammered. Do I get the plank too? The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. I thought I wouldn't mind convincing to jump anyway. To maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong? Nah, but we can't go in this way. Thank you, Pinky, for the. Why are the alerts working? Let me fix them. Thank you, Pinky, for the super chat. Yandere and Hera girls truly are the superiors. Supremely superior version of all women available. Well, I'm sorry to say that there might be something wrong with you. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful to us in this situation. I sure can. Asin, help us get in the warehouse. Okay, yeah. In that case, no. What do you mean I want to say that? What do you mean I want to say that? He's got a point, why? But I'm sane! But I'm sane! I'm so sane! It's like insane that I'm so sane! What are you guys talking about? It's nothing, let's keep looking. Thank you, George, we're done. You better zip chat, rude. Me? Me? I'm rude? What? Me? Me? Why they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect! Tear it open! What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. 
Not without some tools, at least. Huh. Even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I... I like smart guys over beefy ones. Oh god, shut up! <laughs> Who asked? <laughs> Shut up! Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Nice suit! Wow, it sure is cough cough, kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Oh, you're such a kid. Shut up! Oh my god. Does, does she die? Can we kill her? He wants to play too. You do? What? Oh yeah, sure. See? Oh my god, she's so annoying. Can we kill her? She's a child? So am I. I mean, so is my character. Go away. He totally wanted to play too, you child. Uh, I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred! Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... Alright, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She says no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lily. You promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. A box, a box, a box. This one, this is a good box. Oh, no, this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't? Place a stick or something in between the rings. I'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come! Admit it, she's just jealous of Laylee and want Andy? No, I am Laylee! So it's fun! Let's hide, hide! This crate can't be closed. Where do I hide? Here? Oops. Wait, I need to save. Where do I hide? Here in the box? Wait, where do I hide? Help! Wait, I'm not done here. Oh. Where do we get a stick anyway? Wait, what? If I'm... No, 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 no! You know what? Who, who cares about the specifics? I don't care. They're just characters. And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. Well... What do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No! Who do you think, Dumbass? Ah, oh, she's fine, I guess. I hate her. Both of you. Who hides in the same spot? Idiots, haha! Huh? I... It was my spot first! Then you're it! No way! Andy stole my spot, so he is it! Yes, yes, I'll go count. She just what? My hiding spots are the best. I know, a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. I mean, if I can be this... 
if I can be like this at this age, or if Ashley can be like this at this age, then there's nothing holding Mr. I mean Mrs. No Name from being a little bit smarter, you know. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boohoo! Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I. Hundred. Oh shoot! He's coming! Hurry! Hurry! Er. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Oh. Uh huh? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. So what if she's a sociopath? This isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy. You slow poke. Hurry up! She's putting up a fight. Oh, she can't breathe. Oh, she has asthma. Is she alright? I'm not a sociopath! I'm... I'm nice. Shut up already, you drama queen! Let her out, Laylee. She's just pretending! No one's ever died from some dust. Come on, just let her out. What? You'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does, and I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want... And bet... Bet you only hang out with me because mom told you so. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lily. He does! Prove it. Liar. Oh my god, she's so mean! Aww. Oh, that's kind of messed up. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Did I not just say... La 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 la! Talk sure is cheap! God damn it. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best! I like you the best, Andy! You hear that? You get to stay there until morning! No, please! Ashley! Let me out, please! Ashley, wait! Don't go! Yeah, she's dead. It's over.
Okay. What is it? Nothing. It's just... <laughs> God, what did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine! You're starved then! More for me! How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy! So I didn't do anything wrong! You mutilated and ate a corpse! It was a fresh corpse, at least! It wasn't like... It wasn't like, you know, dead for like... Several hours or anything. So it's fine, right? What else are we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Ah, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah? I... We, we wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Shush, shush. There goes my magic wand. There, I have absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? <laughs> Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can we excuse? It's the water company's fault. First, they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity? I don't know, Ashley. What? 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 Is it my fault? Is it my fault? Is it their fault? They were starving? Are they just gonna die? Instead of attempt to survive? The guy was dead anyways! It wasn't even like they killed him! Not like they're gonna go off scot-free! Right? Right? What? Yeah, what are they gonna do? Oh, he summoned a god and the god killed him. Right? There, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. S so I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I kinda just... Uh, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like, some plant. I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Oh, Andrew. Oh, I can't sleep. Ashley, it's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know. I compartmentalize. I kind of like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley! <laughs> Andrew! What is it, Andrew? <laughs> Andrew! Ah! What? 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 Is it my fault? Is it mine? <laughs> Andrew! Andrew. Andy. told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying! Well, well, mommy. The big bad me did the evil thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, mom. I cut 
off a guy's head, but I, I tried to cut off a guy's head, but I couldn't do it, so I had to pull it off. Like a, like a plant or something, I don't know, maybe with all, maybe with his, um, with his windpipe and, every, and everything. Maybe his spine, I had to saw it off a little bit. Too bad I didn't have a serrated knife. My what mouth? I'm sorry. I shut my what? Yes? What? Forget this. Hey, Andy? Remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Laylee's quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. You're falling in love? With who? With who? Ashley? Yeah, she's pretty cute. I like them both. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation. And then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They'll throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well? Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Laylee and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I don't need a therapist. I'm fine. Why would I need a why would I need a therapist? I'm gonna sleep now. Good night, sleep time. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. <laughs> Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. Ah, uh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. What do I do now? What do you mean? I'm not self-inserting. Thank you for the member terminal. Thank you. I don't know if an incest game would fly with most people, so maybe they're not actually siblings? Maybe? 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 Andy! Where are you, Andy? Andy! What do you mean, cope? Am I coping? Whatever, I don't care. Andy! Andy! What are you doing here? Hi! Good morning! What's you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning, summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Oh, did they're hundred percent related? Cool. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. 
Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So, what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I I bet I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. What? Why are you guys lolling? What is your why do you jelly sweat? It says here demons prefer human souls, so it's obviously gonna be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Uh, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up the let's just set the ritual up right now. I wouldn't. I would sacrifice anybody but him. What's in need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by re replacing the candles for now. Okay. Hello, one of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Ah, oh, fine. I'll check it after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we, c we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this! No, 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 no! Enough! Go stall him at our door! I'll clean this up! He's still gonna find the guy missing! Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No! Go! Before he notices we're not home! And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe he'll then assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be the corpse if you don't get going already. Okay, I need to mop. I need to mop up the. Okay. The mop. The mop at my house. The mop at my house. Hey, Andy, what are you doing, Andy? I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you jack up. <laughs> I thought you said it's fine literature. Oh, yeah, it's real fine. Like how? You'll have to see for yourself. I'll trade one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. Read me a sample? Like hell I will! Do you want me to get in character too? I don't want to go into this blind! Who knows what kind of crap you're reading? It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth one of those multi-packs at least. 
Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles. One ten pack. Push them in one by one and then you'll get the book. Listen here, you. I'm the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what... Pointless negotiations go on and on. Do I get to see that again? Okay, I guess not. It just chases me away. I did my best. Wait, wait. Wait, are there more splotches of blood than last time? Actually, the warden is coming. Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm gonna let you try again. How? Oh yeah, what? Where do I hide? Oh, my closet. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? too pleased of you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yup. Ah! <laughs> what? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was a little surprised there, haha. -ha. So where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later, Leia. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I... Oh, looky here. Got a key to room 405. You're still dead. At last, you unlocked the door and... Huh? I just 
just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating the other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see? I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of their situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. I... Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again. Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities. Is that it? Yes! Exactly! Yeah, fine. Whatever. My type is emo emotional, dude? No! Absolutely not. Sorry, wait. I don't know, I just like it when he clenches his teeth. I don't know, there's just something. <laughs> I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Ah! If you're gonna be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? Because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. It's the eyes, too. Well, he's no spine, but he killed somebody. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. Also, it's not called spineless if Ashley's literally insane, okay? Wait, it's not a gap? Oh, oh my god, really? You don't scare me, Andrew. Son and Holy Spirit, I would like to confess my sins 
stressed out lately and now he's calling her by his, their by their childhood name like so technically this 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 whole brocon garbage doesn't apply to me I, I can't be a brocon if i don't have a brother see it's fine i can't i can't okay look i can't uh feel things the way a sister feels things because i do not i am not a sister you get it you get it Cannot empathize with a sibling because I am not a sibling. All right? Let her cook. Yeah, I'm burning the kitchen down. Help, help. The fire extinguisher, please. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm? All good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Go, Andy. What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. Don't worry, Jelly, support you. Really? Thank you, Randy Super Chat Pinky. Thank you. I never watched Yosuga no Sora. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. Oreimo sucks. Would be quite a feat to, th to throw something so high. The point is, no one even came to try. So my infections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Or it'll suck. T, uh, that, that's my, that's my final verdict. I may not say anymore. Huh. But it's alright, because Andy's here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. 
Can't lose what you don't have. <laughs> I can't say that. I can't say that. Ah, oh, they're having fun again. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. Oh, that's our house. What's in 401? Key to room 302. Nice. Anything in the fridge? Note on the fridge reads... Notice! From now, a, B, from now on, AB types will be given supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking! Half-eaten cup of noodles. There's a toilet. Okay. There's another key here. Looky, they've got a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? The cultist was a B type, wasn't it wasn't A B. No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh, let me see. Wait, there's another ward in there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Oh my god! Nope. He only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie talkie. <sighs> Think there's a warden in every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else and keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Oh, there's a key here. Fourth floor key? Okay. A note on the door reads, two times A, one times B. Not on the door reads one times O, but it's crossed over. What's wrong with O? Wait, what's an O? Okay. Um. So where? So this this room, right? Wait, what? Is, whose room is this? This is all it took to keep us in a wooden board. Okay, Andy, I don't have much muscle either. <laughs> your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Blood types? Does it matter? Ah, uh, whatever. What's this slip of paper say? The paper slip taped on the door reads 2 times AB. Oh, we're both ABs! What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Oh, so when the nurse lady came, she was taking our blood, right? Or something like that? Now what? Oh, what are we supposed to do now? Are we supposed to go down? Go out? What's the point of unblocking our door? Okay. Um, I guess I'll have, I guess it's over here. We haven't gone here. Go to the third floor. Okay. Note on the door reads one times A, but it's crossed over. Are they dead? Do they do they kill themselves? Is that why they cross it over? Oh god, who is that? Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? 
What are you doing here? Get out! Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong! Get lost! Huh? What don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and I can play games all day long. She's just like me for real? I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Like bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley! <laughs> Get out, both of you! Alright, I guess I'll I guess I'll leave. Okay, my bad. Jeez. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ah, this is so hopeless. I, I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave the room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting the ritual up for now. All right. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'll be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh. Yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't like them anyway. A note on the door reads two times beat. Okay, um, guess we'll finish the ritual thing. Setup. Bye 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 to thank you for stopping by and you're ready to chat. Bye bye. I hope your babysitting goes well. Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. You double check if this warden also has a gun tucked away somewhere. But all you find is the walkie talkie. No, at least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal! At that point, we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone! Though he'll come in with guns blazing. Oh, right. Oh, let me think. Okay, I got a walkie-talkie. While he's at it, you dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Got blood! Okay, I'm gonna draw this. I have an idea. Do you, Andrew? You're so smart! Do you? Huh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how? Huh? All 
right, then let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Oh, what do you want? Hey, get off of me. What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I... I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it! I'll tell him anything! We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Uh, hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, Alvi, I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. <laughs> Nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise! Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass! Really? Am I going to go alone? Oh yeah, almost forgot. Lily, catch! Andrew throws you something. Got lighter. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. supposed to for his gun. Ah! Him! I offer him! What the? Ah! Him! Oh, he's dead! He's gone! So, uh, well? How is it? Human with tar-colored soul, I give you this. Identifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity is left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get to ask its name, nor to ask for a favor. 
It just did whatever it wanted. But it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around his demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'd be cool as hell. You decide to not linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a viscous pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Maybe my soul is also black. Or maybe it's white. I don't know. Maybe I'm pure. <laughs> what? <the> I <laughs> just. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, game. Key to second floor. Gun. At last. Time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. My dart. My dart. My dart. My dart. My... I better not open this door and see them doing something weird. That's pretty weird. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to ch take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley, and I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Every time. Every time indeed. Every time some floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? <laughs> it's always the same with you. You can't... <laughs> I can't read that. I can't say that! You get to beep and the rest of your world disappears. Not true. <laughs> what? Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. I can't say that! It's, it's in my contract, you're not swear. Just kidding, by the way. It's not. <laughs> it's not actually. Just in case anybody took that seriously. Your priority should be me. Blow it out of your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the F off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, well, I don't know. It's not, it's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped... I'm about like that. So it really was you. Yeah? All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. Hello, Jelly. I'm blind. Please read so I know what's going on. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Can I not defer the super chat? Well, I can't read. If you would respect my wishes. Sorry, I can't 
read even if it's swear. I can't swear even if it's just reading. So if you would respect my wishes, I would appreciate it. <laughs> and I wouldn't harass anyone if you stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis in the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here when I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha! Huh, and I bet you love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I... What a prime example of your... You! Just you! Ah uh -huh, You would. You would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can. Just for you. You know, I have just a thing for that. Back at your back and call just like it was back w way back when. What? No! Screw you, Andrew! Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I said, you know I... I like how they're arguing when there's like a dead lady right on the bed there. And we're in her apartment. Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Uh, of course we are. Just... Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No! Answer me! What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you! Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me! It's not my fault! I didn't lock us in here! I didn't kill the cultist! I didn't even kill the warden! Which one? Neither! You did! And the demon! I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul! Of course not! You make me do it for you! I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock in that crate. Where the... Uh, hecking something choked. Ha 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 ha! Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy! My poor Andy! So, that just came out of your mouth. Ha <laughs> What? It's true! You chose to do it. And you chose me! You chose me! Me! You backpedaling ever of a brother! You chose me! You did! You did! Ah. So, I guess we're not leaving here together. I would 
would like to go now with Andy. I'm ready to go now. Thank you so much, Shadow, for the tip. What do you mean? What do you mean? No, I don't need help. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I do not need help. I'm perfectly fine. Stop. Don't don't say I need help when I clearly don't. Go like dead. Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Even the member Marcelo, here's some help. Thank you. But I don't need it. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. I don't need help. Thank you, Dusty Cat. Thank you. I don't need help. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, so if you plan on dishing me anyway, the nephew. If it's not gonna be just the two of us, then forget it. Thank you, my son, for the fine gift! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Welcome, everybody! I hope you enjoy your stay! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Does this girl not fear death? Well, if she's gonna die, I mean. So be it, right? Because she just wants to live with Andy. So there's no point in her living without him. So what if she lives, it'll be with him. If she doesn't live, then then she doesn't live. Right? I get it, I get it. I don't give a shit about I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though, I'm assuming we we're getting out of here in the first place. That's right, our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Laylee like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay here and die with Andy. So you and I can leave. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense! I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later? when he gets happy. Let's get out of here, Andrew. Okay. Okay. Second floor. A long, sturdy carpet. Well, I don't think there's anything here. Everything, everyone's dead. Don't think these were meant to be open. Jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. 
Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Yeah, the carpet! What if we climb down using the... What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're gonna secure it though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're done. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead? Hell no, it won't. We've got to set up something something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's just leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. Something to secure the carpet? A couch? It's not gonna work. to nail a carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. There has got to be something else. I'm going for it! If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess? Oh, Alright, you first then. Damn right I go first. I'm a lady! You climb down very unladylike. now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ah. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as you never come in contact with the law enforcement, we live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're gonna do, Ashley. First things first. Skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent the place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I... Even then, I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Unless we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls! We'll eat those who don't pay their toll to cross! <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap! Ah! <laughs> Keep it together. I am! Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yup, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also 
means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck. Huh? Are you? <laughs> oh yeah, completely stuck. What? You get on a bus and drive the hell out of here. End of episode one. Oh! Wanna save? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll save. Okay, so that that was episode one. Do I get to live slice of life? Do I get to live slice of life? We'll continue this next week. Uh, next week, next week, next week, and then the next week. Slice of life with Andrew. Do I get to live? I just said this one I live comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> about whatever just happened. Dude, okay, look. If you, if, you know, I don't even, I don't even think I can defend myself. It's, it's like over. What? We're discussing? What are we discussing? What, what are we discussing? I was hydrated the entire time. I was I was hydrated, so it's fine. What do you think of their di dynamic? I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I like it's kind of toxic, yeah. It's it's horrible. It's horrible, but 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 like I mean, I mean she's the she's the problem. I mean how would how would I know? How how am I supposed to judge a relationship? Huh huh? Look at me! Look at me! How am I supposed to judge anything? <laughs> Look at, look, look at me in the eye and tell me how I'm supposed to judge anything. Look at me! Looking, yeah, good, look harder. <laughs> So I need to look it up after the stream. I mean, after I finish the playthrough. Also, thank you for the super chat, George Verdani. Thank you for the super chat. What's a bin? A BYN. Whatever. Base connect never fails to amaze me. Thanks, Fishman. Thank you, too. Have a 
why you don't look it up at all? No, but, 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 you gotta understand. I, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a, 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 a brother, right? I, I don't, I don't have a brother. I don't know what it's like to have a brother. I don't have a good relationship with, um, I don't, I don't have, like, you know, the notion of what being a brocon means. So to me, this is kind of just like a regular boy and girl. I'm not fetishizing yet. I'm just seeing them as normal people. I, I, yeah, right? They're siblings. I mean, all drawings look the same. I do look the same. I mean, all anime girls look the same. I mean, that's racist. <laughs>